Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this quick tip, I want to show you something that's new to Cinema 4D R20, and it's very, very welcome as far as I'm concerned. So just to show you what I'm going on about, this is a Cinema 4D R19, and I've just got a cube with some segments. So if we make this cube editable by pressing C, and then go into polygon mode, and then what I'll do is I'll grab a load of these polygons, um, like so, and delete them. And you'll know from experience that when you go into point mode, you'll have all the vertex points that were left behind when you uh, deleted those polygons, which can be rather annoying. So let's uh, come out of this and have a look at R20. So same thing, press C. I'm going to grab my polygon tool and uh, my rectangle selection and just select a load of them. Delete, go into point mode and oh look, all the uh, points have been deleted along with it. So that's very, very welcome for me. Um, it, it means there's no longer having to, uh, you know, UO to optimize or um, not that that's too much of a bother, but you know, if you don't remember to do that, um, it could cause you problems. But if you did actually want the functionality of those points still being there, that can be um, done. So if you go into edit preferences, and we go down to this modeling sculpting tag here, you can see this disconnected points on delete. And it says here, remove, and then you press shift to preserve. And preserve, press shift to remove. So I'm gonna leave it on its default, which is remove the points, and um, just show you what happens when you um, delete these polys holding shift. And then go to points. And as you can see, it's preserved the point. So you've got both methods there. You've got both, uh, both those types of functionality. So I just wanted to show you that quick. All right, guys, cheers. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeet.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.